A common bird at my feeders and in the forests near us, the red-bellied woodpecker is always fun to see. These guys like to come and eat my suet and grab some peanuts, so I love to spot them. Now, since they're so awesome, let's learn about them. Red-bellied woodpeckers can be spotted in the eastern United States, mainly in forests. In the south of their range, they are more commonly seen in wetlands. With so much habitat being taken away, these birds have begun to adjust to call city parks and suburbs home, so they are much more commonly seen around humans now than they used to be. Red-bellied woodpeckers are relatively large, smaller than a crow but bigger than a robin. Their name may suggest a prominent red belly, although their main reddish feature is their eye-catching head. There's another species of woodpecker called the red-headed woodpecker, which has a pure white stomach and a bright red head. So, they took the name. The red patch on the head of the red-bellied woodpecker is full on mouse, although females have a smaller patch of red and their head is mainly whitish gray. As their name suggests, red-bellied woodpeckers do indeed possess a reddish belly, although this feature is difficult to spot from a distance. The placement and, a r and amount of red varies for every bird, and some may even appear pale gray or white unless you get a close-up look. Their backs are a bold black and white striped pattern. These birds are beautiful. These birds mainly consume insects and spiders, but will also eat plant material such as acorns, nuts, and seeds they extract from plants. Fruits also make up a small part of their diet. They especially enjoy grapes and oranges. Yum! Although the insects, spiders, and plant material make up a huge part of their diet, these birds can sometimes be found eating nestlings, lizards, and sometimes even minnows, depending on their habitat. At feeders, these birds are not picky and will consume anything from cracked corn to sugar water, although some of their favorites are peanuts and suet. Red-bellied woodpeckers are mainly found on tree branches and trunks. They forage mostly in the trees, looking for bugs, berries, and nuts. In the fall, they may also sometimes cache food in the bark to save for consumption in the winter months. These birds may also sometimes pluck insects out of the air, although this isn't very common. At feeders, these birds are very aggressive and will bully away basically any bird. When beginning the nesting process, the male chooses the site and starts to excavate. He calls the female by tapping on the wood around the nesting site. When and if she accepts, she also begins tapping and helps put the last touches on the cavity. The nest is usually constructed inside the cavity, and the cavity is usually found in dead trees or limbs, as well as the occasional fence post. After excavating a cavity, the pair will line the nest with only the wood chips left inside. The female will let, then lay about two to six smooth white eggs. The eggs are then incubated for 12 days before naked, helpless babies hatch. A pair may have one to three broods per year. Red-bellied woodpeckers are low concern as their population is stable. Yep, that's all I have to say. Well. That's all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about these eye-catching birds as much as I did. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're the first to know when I release a new video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time on Bird Nerd.